Hi, this is Dr. Dan, and this is video number three in a series I call Ready for Anything, and this was intended to be an approach to course design that prepares you for online and prepares you for in-person. Again, this is just one way of doing it. Uh, it's a best practice. There's a thousand different ways to, to teach your class, to lay out your class, and whatever works for you is best, and whatever works for your students is most important. But in this particular case, I'm just showing you a way that I do things, and I help, and I hope that uh, whether you adopt some of these methods or not, you can pick up something useful from this discussion. Again, uh, people tell me, Dan, shut up about the course schedule already in the syllabus, but again, I have it up there because it's so important to make sure it's organized with all of the details. So, with that in mind, I'm not going to say another word about it. What we did in our last video was we did a real simple thing. We took this uh, course shell and all we did was we created empty modules super easy thing to do if you don't know canvas very well this is a great thing to do because it lets you kind of dip your toes into the water a little bit without doing anything complicated get you used to clicking on things get you used to being organized so uh, we laid out these modules first and and i like to do this regardless of the course i'm teaching modules first and align it with syllabus i'll say no more so with that in mind the next thing we need to do is we need to start thinking about our content our learning objects and things that we're going to assess um, there's a number of different ways to approach this now when it comes to designing learning activities quizzes um, assessments whatever in an online class there's there's really two different approaches and um, probably the best metaphor is to talk about uh, making a recipe okay so let's say in this metaphor this example that we're making bread and there's two schools of thoughts or two schools of thought I'm sorry on, on cooking and you've all done it both ways so the one school of thought is that you measure all the ingredients out up front so before you start making your bread you have your flour perfectly measured you have your salt your yeast your water whatever your milk your you know depending on the kind of bread you have it all measured out it's all on the counter so when you read the recipe you need it you're ready to go you 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 pour it in so that's one school of thought the other school of thought when you're baking or making anything is uh, I'll measure out the ingredients or get what I need when I need it. So in this instance, this example, you're not measuring everything out ahead of time. You're looking at your bread recipe and you see it calls for a cup of flour. So you go to the pantry and you get a cup of flour and you put it in the bowl. And then you look at the recipe and it says, oh, I need a cup and a half of water and then you go get a cup and a half of water. So again, one approach is measuring out everything up front or doing everything up front, making all the components perfect up front, and the other approach is uh, putting it together as you need it. Both approaches are fine. What I'm gonna show you in this particular video is sort of the first approach, preparing everything up front. Now, this isn't realistic for everybody, but I'll just sort of show you what I'm talking about. So. Um, as I look at this course schedule, I can see here that I need, and I'm just going to pick out quizzes because I know there's some quizzes in here. So let's start there. Um, I know that there is a quiz in Module 2, so I have the Module 2 mini quiz, and I know that there's a mini quiz in Module 4. So I look through here and I see, oh, there's two quizzes. In, in this particular course. And I can also kind of double check that. Um, if you go back to your grades table, if you have something like this in your syllabus, mini quizzes, there's two of them. They're in modules two and four. They're 25 points a piece. So I know I need to make those up. So again, with this idea of sort of pre-measuring the ingredients, what I can do is I can make these quizzes right now after I've completed my, my broad, empty module layout. So again, just an approach. You don't have to do it this way. But if I want to do it that way, I can go here to quizzes and I can say, ooh, you know what? I need a quiz for module two and module four. So I can do this a couple of different ways. But I'm going to name this one module two quiz. Oh, I guess I'm going to name it module two quiz. 
bear with me, I can't type on video. All right, and that's all I have to do for right now. If I really had my act together, I'd put all the questions in and the due date and all of that, and you can do that, but for right now, I'm not gonna do that. So uh, they're saved, so I have my module two quiz. Now I'm gonna click on quizzes again because I remember from looking at my syllabus that I need one for module four. We saw it here in my little table, and when we looked at module four on my very complete course schedule, we see a mini quiz here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create that. And you can look at these as placeholders. Um, I've actually created the quizzes, questions, and everything in, in one sitting before. But again, uh, how you do things is entirely up to you and your schedule. Module 4, mini quiz. You know, and again, the little things, I use mini quiz as one word in my syllabus, and I want to make sure everything's consistent. Crazy, I know, but important. So there we go, and I want to go back and check my module two mini quiz because I don't think I named it right. I did not. I, again, these are these little details that drive you nuts, but um, I, I, I think they're important. I don't want the students to question anything. Well, you said quiz with a Q here and a space, but in the syllabus it said mini quiz one word. I wasn't sure if it was the right one. That kind of thing. I don't like having any of that. So I've got my placeholders for my quizzes made. I haven't, um, I haven't put any content or any questions in the quizzes yet. I could do that if I wanted to, but I just haven't. These are basically placeholders. So I have this done. Again, this is that metaphor that I'm measuring my ingredients out up front. Okay, so continuing with that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to look at discussions. So I can see I have two discussion boards that are worth 100 points each in module three and six. So what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna go here to discussions, add module three discussion. And again, not putting any content in here yet, just a placeholder. And I need a module six discussion. Again, I can go and look at my schedule. I can look anywhere I want. And I see module six discussion here, so I need that. So let's go ahead and make that. Add. And I see I have some old discussions in this class that I need to get rid of, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Now again, as you're going through your class, is if this is an old junker you're working on and you want to do the, the giant purge, like kind of cleaning out your kitchen drawer, um, then what you could do is at this stage of the game, you could go to discussions. We know all we need for this redesign is are these new module six and module three discussions. So if there's any old things in here, get rid of them. What happens is people worry about, oh, I'm gonna need that. Well, you know, I look in courses and do you really need the revised version of the syllabus from spring 2015 when uh, Julie taught it? Uh, you know, there's all sorts of files out there and confusion and old quizzes. Just get rid of them. And this is a great method that kind of forces you to go through everything and uh, analyze whether you need documents or whether you need activities or whether you don't. So back on track again, we've created our few, our, our two, I'm sorry, discussions that we needed uh, for the class. We've also created the quizzes that we've needed for the class. And we're going to stop there and we'll move on to the next lesson in a bit.